anyway, it's almost three o'clock. I'm still in a robe, right? Why? Because the hotel can't find my luggage. Just thinking back in Seattle, about to be a nice off day. I'm gonna go and venture out, walk around, go to a restaurant, have some coffee. Cause you know, in Seattle, they got all the best coffee out here. I was just gonna enjoy the day. I mean, this could turn into a really interesting day because I mean, I don't have luggage, I don't have clothes. So I might just have to walk to a random store in my robe and get clothes. And yes, I will put this on my stories if I were to do something like that. It's 319, still no phone call, no luggage, but my sister, I was just talking to her on the phone and uh, she mentioned something to me that I didn't think about. I told her I didn't have any luggage and she was like, oh, what did you wear last night? Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. But to my, to my defense, it's a suit, the dress shoes. So I wouldn't want to wear that again and have to walk around and all of that. And I'm not that desperate, I guess, to leave. But if it comes to that, then maybe. But yeah, I didn't think about that. I really didn't, shoot. Okay, I am that desperate, screw it. I'm putting it on and um, we're walking. I, I can't be in this hotel. I'm having hotel item. Oh, look, the phone was ringing. Let's see who this is. Okay, so. Uh, thanks to my sister, got my dress clothes on. <sighs> Uncomfortable, but gets me out of the hotel. And uh, I guess I'll just look like a, a bishop or a deacon or something. Okay, so that was a bad decision. Going out, walking around, all dressed up. It's nice and hot outside. I was looking for a restaurant, couldn't find it. Siri, Siri for real? Literally no idea. No idea where this place was at. I walked up and down, out the blue. Location thing on my phone was flashing right on top of the restaurant. Standing right there. But you know what was in front of me? <clears throat> you guessed it, nothing. I said, screw it. I'm just going to walk back to the hotel. And I turned and I looked and I saw that there was a really steep hill. And anybody who knows Seattle, they know, you know, it's a steep hill by Market Street. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to make it to the top. I'm going to pass out once I get to the top. I need to eat. So before I went up the hill in my dress shoes, uh, I saw this little French bakery. And I was like, all right, fine, I'll go in there. It's really close. Went in, didn't know what to get, but I saw something and it looked like a, a palmier. I don't know if I said that right, but I was trying to be French. <laughs> and then I just walked back to the hotel, ordered room service, and I still have no luggage. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one of the clubbies to bring me my Yankees uniform, and I'm just going to wear that to the field tomorrow from the hotel. Why not? Why not? Snakes got wash, wash. They gon' try to block your bliss, your bliss. Keep faith, I was no god god. No, they can't block my bliss. My bliss. They don't want to see me on top. I can let them block my bliss. My bliss. Keep hugging, like, keep pushing, don't stop, don't stop. You After 8 o'clock, I finally found my luggage. It was at Safe Coat Field this whole time. Maybe they're trying to send a message to say, stay at the field so you can start getting hits or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>